Hi, this is Emily, and today let's... Hi, this is Emily, and today let's learn about cations and anions. So what are cations? So cations are positively charged ions, and cations form when metals lose their electrons. And anions are negatively charged ions, and they form when nonmetals gain electrons. So together, cations and anions form ionic compounds. So what are some common examples of cations? So there's sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and as you can see from the bright smiley face here, cations are always positive, so they're always positively charged. So what about anions? What are some common anions? So there are chlorides, fluorides, sulfides, and bromides. And as you can see from the three frowny faces here, anions are always very negative, so they're negatively charged. So next, I'd like to teach you a clever mnemonic that can help you differentiate between cations and anions. So when you look at the word cations, and you split it up, and you just look at the first three letters, you see cat. And what do cats have? Cats have paws. Therefore, cations are positive. As you can see from the cute little kitty smiling here, they are very positive. So next time you think of cations, think of cats and their paws, and then you'll know that they are positive. So what about the anions? So when I think of anions, I think of onions. And onions lead to crying, and crying equals sadness. So just remember this picture of this crying, sad onion, and you'll remember that anions lead to crying, which leads to sadness, which is why they're so negative and negatively charged. Thanks!